She was one of the lucky ones, unharmed after her car got caught up in this fiery crash on I-70. Weeks later, though, she feels like a victim all over again. The crash happened April 25th in Lakewood, and investigators have had her car ever since. So not only is Valerie Robertson Young dealing with the trauma of the crash that killed four people, she also has to figure out how to get to work. Kelly Worthman talked with her tonight, and Kelly, that car is now considered evidence in the criminal, criminal case. Well, Jim, even though her vehicle wasn't as badly damaged as the many others here three weeks ago, investigators still need it to help build their case. But she tells me she really needs it back. I'm glad I'm alive. I made it out. We first met Valerie Robertson Young on what she calls the worst day of her life. I heard somebody died, so. Three weeks later, she still can't escape the horrific scene. When I close my eyes, I see the accident over and over. A speeding semi narrowly missed Valerie Silver Hyundai before crashing into the cars in front of her, causing this deadly inferno on I-70. I'm just trying to move on. But Valerie says moving anywhere is tricky. Her vehicle was collected as evidence, and authorities are not ready to give it back. They won't even let us get pictures of our cars. So I've put in a claim, but I can't move forward. I can't do anything. Valerie says her insurance will We'll cover the cost of a rental for three weeks, but that time is just about up. Once that's done, then it's going to be out of my pocket. And it's an expense Valerie isn't sure how long she can afford. It's a lot, you know, and it adds up. Valerie says she understands the fiery crash is a complex investigation, but feels keeping the cars of victims just adds salt to the wound. Within the three weeks' time that they've had them, they could have taken pictures, videos. Um, I think that's more than enough time, you know. Um, I think it's time to let the vehicles go and let people start to rebuild. We did speak with the district attorney's office, and they say investigators are working as quickly as possible to return that personal property. Reporting live in Jefferson County, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Truck driver 23 year old Rahel Aguilera Medeiros faces 36 felony counts for that crash, including four counts of vehicular homicide. He remains locked up in Jefferson County.